five months ago, our county was tackling a much larger fire. Now the trainer severely injured trying to save her horses during the lilac fire is on a path of healing. And she spoke to 10 News reporter Anthony Pura about how the fire may have taken a lot, but not her passion for life. Those who know Martine Belloc know her strong will. It was a long, long journey, I can just say journey. And a trying one. 60% of her body burned, but her strength of spirit unwavering. My mind was like, okay, I gotta to do it, do it. Exercise, and, and that's it. Her husband, Pierre, by her side. You're talking about a good, good man. Every day. And for a long time, she could hear me, but uh, wasn't incapable to communicate. Oh, I cannot talk. Couldn't talk because of her tracheotomy. Until a few weeks ago, she couldn't talk about what happened at the San Luis Rey Training Center in December when the lilac fire swept through. I remember everything. And uh, to talk to it before, it, it made me sad and, and cry. But now I'm kind of, uh, you know, accept, you know, what happened. I, I lost a horse, I lost a horse, you know. Her horse was just too afraid to leave the stable. Maybe I when you're a horse person, your horse comes first. He do not come out. It was smoking, fire, loose horse all over the place. And I just go out a little bit and I just collapse. And Pierre find me on, on the ground. More than five months later, Martine's strength tested by nearly 10 surgeries, dialysis, even losing a leg. Hey, can you scoot forward for me a little bit? Today, progress. Okay, I get to mark your anatomy here. Doctors are fitting her for a prosthetic leg, and next week she can go home. I'm a little bit surprised myself. I'm like, wow, I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> Not just good, in a way, stronger than ever. Oh, I don't think it's going to change. My, my style of living, of seeking. Anthony Pura, 10 News. What an incredible mm -hmm. woman. Tremendous attitude in the face of adversity and what she's faced. And this community is keeping her in our mm -hmm. thoughts, and we will. Martine says complete strangers have reached out and offered their help, and she wanted to thank all of those strangers tonight. Yeah, and if you would like to help, we have a link to her GoFundMe page right now on 10news.com.